Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your finance advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So this is Sport IQO. It says get rewarded for your love of cricket. You know cricket, you know the players. Now use that knowledge to invest in your favorite players. When they play well, you get rewarded in real money. It's like investing in a stock just way cooler. Now, we are pretty early on this one uh, when I scouted it, you know, as I was doing some scouting this week. So it says here, launching Q1 of 2023. As you know, uh, when we've got stuff like this stating that, you know, they're launching the future, keep in mind, timelines are always fluid, you know, so it could be early, it could be later, you know, so just keep that in mind. Join the waitlist to be among the first to be invited. When you click on the join waitlist button, you can see you can you can put your name in, email address, and then obviously I think this would highlight to join the waitlist. Okay. Um, it also says Sport IQ is a new way to monetize your sporting IQ, so a new digital asset. You know, for sports fans, no need to create teams, take a long-term view on players, and powered by cutting-edge technology. And they give you some information here below each one of those uh, to further explain them. You got a video here, but you guys know that we don't play videos on the channel as we explore the projects that we talk about. And then they've got an FAQ you know, here as well, along with the roadmap. So like I said, I mean, we're pretty early you know, on this one. So being, bear in mind, as far as this project is concerned, they don't have a white paper yet. Um, I did try to join their Discord. You can't get verified because apparently the, the server is not configured yet. The capture bot actually told me that uh, they need, I needed to talk to an administrator. So, uh, you know, and by the numbers, when you actually click on the Discord link, you can see that it's still really, really early. Okay. They also do not have a Telegram, you know, uh, on this project yet either. So early means they're still trying to go ahead and build communities and all that stuff. So be aware of that. Um, you can see here indicating that the start of the beta launch is going to be in uh, 2023 in January and then a number of other items taking place, you know, as represented here all the way to Q4 of 2023. So what I would say in regards to the roadmap unit here, if the team comes across the video, is just that as you guys complete stuff, just make sure that you're indicating what you've already completed. Check it off, cross it off, and state what's already in process, pending and ongoing. Um, you know, for anybody taking a look, you know, at your roadmap, I think that roadmaps are just a good opportunity to communicate some of these things, you know, especially because not all your visitors are going to go ahead and jump over to your social, you know, but if you communicate some important things here through your roadmap, that might be the difference between somebody deciding to take a look, a closer look at your social and a closer to look at your project, you know, altogether. Okay, so, um, oh, and before we leave this roadmap here, and also my last piece of feedback here, it would be helpful to know at the end of Q4 2023 whether there's going to be a V2 on this roadmap and any other value or development taking place, you know, on the project. So we can see here another way to go ahead and just join the wait list, and then we're at the end of the page with some socials, you know, as well. So that's going to do it in regards to Sport IQO. Like I said, pretty early on this one. So as always, I go ahead and try to bring you guys stuff, you know, so that you can, you know, one, be aware of it. To me, give you information, you know, uh, at least the way that I'm seeing it in regards to the project, highlighting whatever I can for you, and then putting it in your hands to go ahead and do your own information gathering so that you can determine whether it's something you want to lean into or not. So, but again, as always, a lot of this stuff is time sensitive. If you guys are not subscribed yet, if you're watching the video and you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing just because. I try to go ahead and put stuff out there, you know, early for the community. And if you're not subscribed and with those notifications turned on, you're not going to be aware of it, you know, so, um, so just keep that in mind. But that's going to do it for me in regards, you know, to the project. So thank you so much for watching. I'll leave the links relevant to Sport IQ in the description. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, you all enjoy the day.